In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take a look at two special effects that are part of the New Blue Essentials package. If you have that as an add-on in your copy of CyberLink PowerDirector, uh, we hope this will be helpful. We're going to look at two of them. The first is called Soft Focus. The second is called Sharpen. To get my to my special effects, which I put in below my track, I click on the FX or press the F4 key. And an easier way for me to see these is to click up above the icons, which is a default, and click on Details. This gives me a really good way to see the uh, kind of item I'm going to be looking at. So what I want to do first of all is I want to work on this soft focus. So uh, with my cursor here, I can click on the soft focus and I can click on this and it will drop it in right there. Now the default of the soft focus, as you see, is very soft. So if I uh, have, my, have it highlighted, I press the F2 key, we see the default blur is 151 and the mix is 200. The mix is how well it's blended with the surrounding image. Now if I take the blur and drag it down, it will get more and more discernible. But you have to go a long way before it, it doesn't look like your image is totally out of focus. Uh, three, five, six, something like that isn't too bad. The other option you can do is you can lower the mix without affecting the blur. And that again will give you uh, a little sharper focus and yet just a little some more softness to this young woman's face. That is how the soft focus works. And again, you can use keyframes. Now, I've used a keyframe for this effect over here. And at the end of the video, we'll show you the difference. So that is that particular one, the new blue soft focus. This is often used in photography, and now they've imported it into videography. I will go ahead and close that. The other one I'd like to look at is the sharpen, new blue sharpen. So I'm going to move my playhead over here, uh, click on the new blue sharpen and insert it in the timeline. And uh, let's see what the default looks like. I highlight it and press the F2 key. And all we have is one scale. Strength, the fault strength is 57. What sharpen does, it tends to work on the edges of your images. And watch her eyes and hair as I drag it to the right. You can see the difference. When I go all the way up to maximum, actually uh, everything in here gets a little gritty and very detailed, but it's very defined. If we move it back again, there's a little bit of sharpness above zero, but it's not enough to be too noticeable. I find that uh, a lot of Adobe products that deal with photo editing uh, have a default sharpness that they add to many images. You can do that on a scanner as well. So a little bit of sharpness might help and this gives you a, a, a way in which you can do that in CyberLink PowerDirector. Again you can use a keyframe and we have an exercise here where I did a short clip uh, showing this young woman's face with it going from one degree to another full screen. And we'll tack that on the end of this video and help you see what happens when you use these two tools in the new blue essential pack if that's part of your power director. Here I use a keyframe. The soft focus starts at 151, the default. I back it down to 2 and I go all the way up to 11 with 70 on the mix. Next we use sharpen. We go from 57 to 140 and then all the way up to 200.